I guess they, they call me Stam these days. It's not unusual for a model to change the length of her locks, but when a young fresh face called Jessica disappeared last season and Stam appeared in her place, inquiring minds wanted to know what was going on. Stam is my last name, um, and I guess it's just, you know, to kind of make, you know, just to give me a more unique name than Jessica. So. It was kind of a nickname in high school, too. My stage name, yeah. Her name change may be unusual, but Stam's story is not. I was with my family at a coffee shop, and a woman came up to me and gave me her business card. And she's, she's a model scout and manager, so she manages me today still. I thought she was a little bit crazy, and, but I mean, I was excited. You know, I, I didn't really know anything about modeling. And I just thought it was kind of cool and gave her a call. My mom gave her a call the next day. I'm from Canada. I grew up like two and a half hours from Toronto in a town called Kincardine. And I was in Toronto one day and coming back home and, and, and stopped in to get some coffee and that's when it all happened. I've been modeling for about three years now. I started when I was just turning 16 and now I'm, I'll be turning 19 soon. So <laughs> the first campaign that kind of kicked off my career, I guess, was Mew Mew. And, um, and then, and then I, I did Prada, and Dolce, Gabbana, and uh, Anna Sui, and Kenzo, and BCBG, uh, CK1, Bulgari, uh, a lot. A lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, quite a bit. <laughs> First, it was crazy, I guess, seeing myself, but um, in magazines. But it, I mean, it's kind. Of, I mean, I, I'm kind of used to it now, but it's still it's. Totally, it's really cool though, you know. When you see yourself on like a huge billboard in New York City, it's like, you're like, what? You know, it's crazy. Modeling was not Jessica's first priority growing up. I never thought about it. <laughs> I mean, I grew up on a farm, you know, like, I didn't, I didn't really, you know, I never really went to the city. Like, I never really considered it, you know, possible. I never really considered a possibility. Well, I was just finishing up high school when I started get serious about it and, I, and so I had to take a little break and I'm, I'm finishing up through correspondence. I never got the attention of any boys in high school and, uh, and now when I go back they're all kind of kicking themselves I'm sure. It makes me feel good. <laughs> I guess the best things about modeling would be like the travel and the experience you get like meeting people and, and um, I guess just I don't know, I mean, you get to see the world at such a young age and you're really taken care of, you know, you really get spoiled, which, you know, can, can hurt you also if you're, if you're not careful, because you can get, like, too spoiled. But, you know, I mean, I, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a good experience, it's fun, you know, you get to have a good time. You, know, you can't really too, complain too much about this business, you know, we're very lucky.